26 of the adventure here in Los Angeles, and it was another nighttime mission with Barry. We hit the freeway to go out and catch up with uh, Robert Williams, who's just a cult artist here in the States. He's just incredible, some of his work, and uh, amazing to get to know these stories. And you can see the detail there of some of the drawings and stuff. He's just a, a legend in the art world, and it's the sort of guy you got to look at his work about five times just to see what's going on, or even more. But make sure you check out his website, robtwilliamsstudio.com, and here is the man himself in Los Angeles. We're here in LA uh, with Robert Williams, and it's a huge honor, and uh, thank you for being on the show. Oh, this is my pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> now, I saw a thing on you on YouTube, and I've been reading up on your website and everything about the amazing art you did. You grew up in Alabama. What's that like for people around the world? What's Alabama like? Well, um, I, I was uh, born in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I spent a lot of time in the Deep South, but... Uh, my teenage years primarily in New Mexico. Okay. And what's that kind of like? What, what's that like? Yeah. Well, in the South, I went to military school as a young kid, and it was a very strict school, and I hated it. And uh, got out and uh, got into regular elementary school and developed uh, a propensity for young girls, and, <laughs> you know, and. As you did? Then I got into my teen years, and my uh, hormones kicked in, and I ran wild for a long time. Got in a lot of trouble. And what? That sounds pretty yeah, good. It's yeah, a good yeah, lead-in. I, I got millions of stories. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. You know. It's well, a good lead-in. But I saw on there today. You talked about um, your parents had a. Was it a drive? My in? my father had an enormous drive-in restaurant in the 40s and 50s in Montgomery, Alabama. It was the largest drive-in in the world, and it serviced 100 cars at one time. Wow! So that must have been amazing as a kid to see all that. Yeah, stuff. yeah. That was that, that was partially my introduction into hot rods was the drive-in restaurant okay and so when did art come about for you in your life at what point sort of did you realize that this was something that you were either I, really I, great at uh, <clears throat> I had always uh, had a predilection for art is is a very young infant my parents would sit me down on a big piece of butcher paper and I would just start scribbling so I, uh, I was drawing before I can remember okay now, I'm wondering about a lot of people out there that would uh, try something in their life. I remember doing an art class at school, and I, was, I thought I was terrible. I never tried it again for 15 years, and then years later, I sort of thought, did something. I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. Was there ever a time when you doubted what you were like doing? Or was there ever anyone that sort of said about that? About 20 could... minutes ago. Yeah, I mean, it's a, <laughs> Wait. it's a continual, you know, uphill grind. Right. Okay. And so what's been the highlights for you of some of the stuff that you've done with, with your career, if you look back on, I mean, you've got a showing coming out soon in New York, right? Well, yeah, considering, considering, yeah, do we use pro, uh, profanity on this yeah. thing? Okay, well, considering what a fuck-up I am, I think I've done pretty well. You know? <laughs> Why do you say that? Well, I've been in a lot of trouble, and uh, I've never adjusted really well in school to academic uh, curricula, and... Um, I, I don't have good social skills, and I've just always had a lot of problems, and art was a place that I could uh, invest myself in and, and get returns. Okay. So, I mean, the, the passion, though, for it, how do you, do you find that... Passion passion is kind of a real poetic way to, to cover a, uh, a compulsion. It's a compulsion. Right. You know, it's... Um, uh, it's, it's like not having a tail and you have to wiggle something. It's like a compulsion, you know. It's, uh, uh, well, I don't want to go into a long dissertation about uh, the evolution of man, but uh, art's a form of abstract thought. It, it really, art has no practicality, but uh, it, it, it takes people that are highly motivated without good direction to do art, you know, or, or a scam man to do it. It's uh, art, art is actually a a kind of a belief system. Okay. Did you have any yeah. heroes yourself that inspired oh, you? Oh yeah, yeah, sure. But unfortunately, my heroes were what's considered lowbrow art. You know, I had comic book artists and animators and illustrators that did uh, B movie posters and pulp magazine covers right. and things like that. And then later, when I got into fine arts in my late teens, uh, I had all this. Uh, pollution of lowbrow art and it took me quite a while to well I never really did adjust uh, to, to fine art properly yeah what, what is, is the difference between like a lowbrow and why would someone say like if art's art isn't it like well there, there's, a, there's a lot of reasons there's 
art is a uh, is a, a large group of people that have authority that agree on what's right and wrong. Mm. And uh, there's an enormous amount of money and control and uh, established businesses and uh, universities and uh, a whole system that's oh, yeah. involved. So in structure. There's an entire structure that determines mm. what art is. So you have to pretty much go by their guidelines or, you know. And it, it's rough because, like, like I say, I'm a bit of a fuck up, you know. And um, then, I, then I have the other problem that I'm not politically correct. So, you know, my my uh, rock on. Yeah, I, I'm, I've always run foul of women and feminist and whatnot, you know, because I uh, I gravitate to l l lustful material, you know. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I really, really like naked ladies, you know, and I. Uh, Who doesn't? Well, uh, <laughs> you know, you, you're not supposed to. You know, in the Victorian period, they tried to cleanse you of that. Now the feminists try to cleanse you of that. So, you know, okay. uh, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's a whole discussion yeah, for definitely. another time, you know. Barry was telling me something in the car on the way here about uh, the, the Guns N' Roses album, which was, it was a big thing worldwide for you, wasn't it? How did that appetite for destruction Story you know, come about. I always have to tell the story. Um, yeah, I'd, well. you know, it's like I'm, I'm sure Barry told you uh, he did the album cover for Guns N' Roses. Well, no, I did a painting that they saw on the cover of a book, and they came to me for it. Right. See. Okay. Because I'm not an illustrator. I don't take commissions. Right. Yeah. See, I'm a bohemian painter. Yeah. You know. Already, yeah. Just, just like the the old opera La Boheme. I'm like a character in La Boheme. You know, I. Um, I'm, I don't look like a free thinker, do I? I, I don't. I, don't look, <laughs> I can tell there's a lot going on. I don't look like a free thinker. Well, they also tell me that you love history, right? You love the history of different things and got some pretty... Well, you, you know, the thing about history is, is it's, it's like, like... you kill Jeopardy. You, you, you could... You can get lost in history. It's like, uh, it's like getting in a um, prenatal position mentally, you know. It's like the place for people to hide is history. It's you know, biggest story, you know, isn't it? Like, like fucking history's over, you know. Like we're, it's not even now. It's, it's what's coming up. It's, it's happening. Like right. history didn't exist. Like you know, and in, in, in reality, there is there is no past. Past is over, and there is nothing. There is it is not, yeah. you know. So, but uh, I do. I I get slobbery over history, and you know, involved in interesting aspects of history that uh, that I see a certain virtue in that uh, the, the history books don't see and whatnot. You know. well, it's something that's a little bit off the... From the ground, on down, on down, your way. From the ground, on down, on down.